So here's my life. <laughs> We got this. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, we're so excited to hang out with you guys in person in Charlotte, which could mean a lot of giggles. <laughs> it's true. We'll try to stay on task. <laughs> For sure. But we're in Morgan's home. Chad and I and some of our kids are here through like Friday. And uh, we'll probably be bumping our move over the next two or three weeks here. So you'll be seeing probably a lot more of this. Um, but we are just so excited to talk through. Oh, <laughs> Annie. But Annie, you can visit anytime. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. And we'll see you at every Plexus event known to man. Yes. Oh, it's gonna be so good. But we're excited tonight just to go through some quick announcements and what's happening, what's coming soon, and then open the floor for just conversational coaching. Um, I think there's such value when you're coaching someone to do it in more of a group setting, because often there's others in the group that have the same question, or maybe they're coming up against the same roadblock. And so that is our hope and prayer tonight is that we're able just to come alongside you, answer questions the best we can. There might be some that we don't even know the answer to, and we're okay with that. Um, but just to come along inside each other as if you're right here in Morgan's home with us just to um, dialogue together and with these questions there might be some of you that have input and suggestions or ideas or things that are working for you so with that being said feel free to unmute and chime in as well but I'll have Morgan kind of kick it off here first with what's happening right now all right well tomorrow is a very exciting day how many of you guys know what tomorrow is you guys all look like you don't know. Anna knows. All right. Christy knows. KK knows. Okay. There we go. Donna, I see some excitement now. I am so excited about the greens, like beyond excited when they announce this, like each time there's a product launch, I know everybody has opinions and they're like, Ooh, I like this. Mm, maybe, you know, like when skincare came out, I was kind of like, I don't know. I don't yeah. know if I need skincare yeah. now. I love it. Yeah. But when they announced screens, I was like, I need this. And every single person in my family needs this. And I cannot wait to promote it. So that mm -hmm. comes out tomorrow. And Plexus has some really cool things going on. If you order it between the 28th and the 30th, there's combos. And each time you order a combo, you get entered into all these awesome prizes. There's caches. And I hear, I think there's two Peloton bikes they're giving away. So yeah, bikes. And all you have to do is order those combos. So promo that also to your customers who want the greens. It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be a great way to end our month. And as you guys have been seeing promoted to fit for fall challenge, ideally we want to have everybody have their orders in by the 30th. So this greens is coming out in a perfect time too, where they can order one of those combos if they want. Or of course, Slim Active Ease is the one we're promoting because we're going after energy, mm -hmm. reducing inflammation, and it's two weeks. So it's easy peasy. People can commit to two weeks and they'll stay committed if they have accountability partners. So you want to commit to those people. So know what you can have on your plate. Can you personally talk to somebody every day for two weeks? How many people can you talk to? Three, five, 10, open your window to that and stay committed to those people and see it through. Because when people start on slim active ease, they continue. Do you remember yeah. what the percentage rate? It's like a high percentage rate that people continue on when they start with the slim active ease, mm -hmm. they keep their subscriptions turned on because they like it. It tastes good. It gives them energy and they feel amazing. Yeah. I also wanted to point out that when I started sharing and deciding that I was going to like try the business thing out, how I went silver was a challenge just like this one. I actually didn't even post on Facebook or Instagram or any of that. I don't even know if I did Instagram when I started this. <laughs> I barely did. <laughs> Instagram, Instagram is newer. I don't know, <laughs> but I didn't post on Facebook for sure. I just reached out to like five of my very close friends, five of my family members and said, Hey, do this belly buster challenge with me. So if you haven't gone silver or my goal every single month is to add three people. And this month, if you add three people, you get an extra hundred dollars in your pocket. If you're already silver, if you're not silver yet, you're going to get another hundred. And if you fast start, you're going to get another hundred dollars. So it's an incredible incentive mm -hmm. 
but it's an easy way to get more friends to join you when we have something to plug them right into. And don't forget that they're getting an extra bag of active with a welcome pack. So they have enough for 30 days. Mm -hmm. It's going to be awesome. Yes. We have a lot of good announcements. I know. <laughs> like the next one, I think I might've squealed out loud for me and my children. <laughs> Who is loving the success sprints? And if you feel like I haven't really jumped on success sprints train yet, yeah. now's it's the time. time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you have to get on board in quarter four because I want to see every face here mm -hmm. on the Zoom in person in Orlando. Mm -hmm. We don't know all the requirements yet. Those will come out October 1st, but we do know you can win a trip to Disney. That's pretty awesome. We're brainstorming some prizes specifically for Team Revive. We've heard like word on the street. Uh -huh. People really liked the dolphin <laughs> swimming and maybe we'll just come up with something like that. That'd be so fun, you guys. I've heard from so many of you that are like, okay, that looks fun. Can we all go when we go to Orlando? So if you keep your ideas coming, we are brainstorming and praying that through, but more than anything, just so excited to gather together in the sun. Let's all go to Disney World together. Let's all go to the Gaylord together. Best hotels out there. <laughs> KK's like, yes, I'm in. <laughs> yes. So you get to earn leaders retreat. And we, yes. Emily Burgess already has an awesome breakdown mm -hmm. of how you can get there. So that's the first tier. And there's going to be a lot of different tiers, probably a mm -hmm. shopping spree. Yep. Um, four tickets to Disney is something that's in there too. So it's going to be so fun. So keep your eyes out and know that we're brainstorming and we are here to help you get there. So if you're like, I'm going, like I already see the Mickey Mouse ears on my head, <laughs> we want to help you get there. So it's going to be super, super fun. We have a lot going on next week too. So Crystal will kind of fill you in on that. Yes. Yes. And I want to make a couple points. If you have had previous success from our challenges, an easy energy challenge, a um, belly buster challenge. What do we call them in the past? But if you have had a testimony come out of one of those challenges, I would love for you to send it to me. And we would love to either have you as a live during that challenge to encourage others that are a part of it or throwing a post up there with your testimony. So just a quick side note on that. Um, and then also within Emily Burgess's kind of example of how to reach the leaders retreat, maybe you looked at that and you're like, I'm not a gold ambassador yet though. So that's not going to work for me or I'm brand new. And so if this doesn't even count, that's just one example, just one way to do it. But I really encourage you to take time before October 1st comes and decide in your heart, what is it that you want to go after? Make the chart, make the dream board, get your kids involved in that even just like the little thermometer things, you know, like school fundraiser style where you can start filling it in. But the more you have a goal put out in front of yourself, whether it's on your mirror, on a poster board, a whiteboard, you will see it come to pass. I know there's statistics out there on this. I don't know them offhand. I just know it's true for myself. Um, every single time when I put it before me, I'm much more likely to actually achieve the goal. So don't hold yourself back. Give it everything you've got. And we would love to see you there. That Trip, leaders retreat, my first one changed the trajectory of my business, hands down. And I think it's such a pivotal trip for so many. Okay, so next week, Monday through Wednesday, what are they called? Meet Plexus. So Jennifer Leith has put together a three day blitz of opportunity calls. They're called the Meet Plexus calls. They're 25 minutes long. So they're not super long or intimidating for a brand new person who's curious about this opportunity. Each one has four jewels. So I will be on the Monday night one. Morgan's going to be on the Wednesday night one, but they're three nights in a row. All of the details are on Team Revive. So this is a great opportunity that maybe you have someone that just joined this month. This will kind of drip the opportunity on them in a really Really gentle way that isn't like you have to do this, <laughs> but just cast vision for them of all different stories of what this opportunity has done for families um, in, in like every family is so unique and so different. So plug in your people to that, whether they're customers, current ambassadors, or people on the fence deciding if this could be something that God would use in their lives. So that's Monday through Wednesday. And then on Thursday night, I'll put the details on the team page soon once I have them. There's going to be 
a, a Zoom event specific to moms of special needs children. So if you know anybody uh, with a special needs child, this is something to be promoting, throw it out on your Insta stories, um, send them a private message as well. Myself, Amy Kosmolski is going to be on there. Andrea Mitchell is going to be on there. Um, there's going to be several of us sharing the way these products have helped us and our children, but also the way the opportunity has helped provide. And each of our stories um, are unique within that world of being special needs parents. So be thinking and brainstorming of who you know that that would apply to. And we'll put the details on the team page here soon. Was that it for announcements? It's all the announcements. Ooh, end of the <laughs> month. Who still has a goal as we close out this month and close out the quarter? Throw it in the comments of what you're believing for, what you're going after. We want to make sure we're praying over these goals that you guys have as well. But we do want to open the floor now for questions. Maybe it's a roadblock you're coming up on. Maybe it's something you're curious about or in your posts or in your messaging as you're brainstorming and, and game planning in your team. Uh, remember, no question is a silly question. Likely there's others that have the same question as you, um, but feel free to throw it in the chat or unmute yourself um, and chime on in to add five more, Donna. Yes, you'll crush it. I know you will. Donna, your screen was so cute earlier. You were what, what were you talking about? The greens, who's excited for the greens? And you would like cheer, but then it would freeze. And you kept having these freeze frames and like the cutest, happiest face. It was the best. I love it. I love it. If you're going to freeze, you might as well be smiling, right? It's true. <laughs> Christy, how far along is that baby? I just love that every Zoom, your tummy gets bigger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at her. 34. What? Kim, one more. Yeah. <laughs> we need to see baby Judah. Can you put him on the screen, please, Chelsea? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm putting you on the spot. You could be naked for all I know. <laughs> or dripping milk. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly my life right now. <laughs> I'm not All coming right, fine. on. If Levi walks in, have him show us. <laughs> we understand. Okay, so the um, cost of the greens. Ambassador cost is $39.95. Thank you. <laughs> I'm looking at it. There's single product, twin packs, combos. They're all on Team Revive 2, and I can tag you there. But Ambassador cost is $39.95 and 25 PV. And I heard it tastes amazing. It, apparently I got it in the mail, but it's in Minnesota and I'm not there. So, and I think I get it tomorrow, really? which I was so bummed. Yeah. I was like, me and Krista could have showed you, tried it I'll tomorrow. Come we'll yeah. come back. Deal. <laughs> Live video. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it tastes so good though. And it's not like grass. It's like a berry flavor, which I don't know how they did that, that it's mm -mm. green garden but berries, it like says. berries. And Lane's kids tried it and they all, they their did. reactions, they liked it. Okay. And nothing else. So I was impressed mm. by that. That's amazing. Have you guys had people ask if we have a greens product? I know I've had several people ask me for it. So I think it's going to be a big hit. Heidi, good question. Trying to build excitement and monthly commitment on team. Okay, what do you mean by monthly commitment? Will you unpack that for me? Like keeping their orders going or staying the course, building the business? I'd love for you to unpack that part. Subscriptions. Yeah, I find like monthly subscriptions is probably usually, probably usually is mm -hmm. um, often a one-on-one -on -one conversation is gonna be the highest success more than anything else. Of course, we love doing the 100 PV clubs and just incentivizing consistency on the products. Um, so having fun incentives is always awesome. And it just shows your gratefulness to your people and to your team. Um, but then as far as like growing excitement in a team, I think a lot comes down to casting vision of who are we as a team and where are we headed and dripping belief of what this can be for your people, um, your excitement will inevitably be caught by those around you. Like, set, what's that phrase? Set yourself on fire and everyone will come to watch you burn. Mm -hmm. It's true. When you are excited and in person momentum, it's inevitable that your team feels it, catches that fire and continues on in that. 
Do you have thoughts as well? No, my thought when you were talking was the phrase a lot more is caught than taught. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that's true in Mm -hmm. team revive, you know, just allowing people to see your excitement. You're great at that staying Mm -hmm. the course, staying consistent and people will grab a hold of that. Yeah. Side note, do you know that this, what we're doing is actually our worst nightmare and scariest thing ever? (laughs) It's true. We can admit that. (laughs) You want to let them ask us questions live? (laughs) (laughs) We... (laughs) <laughs> but that's how much we love you guys that's true. That's true. <laughs> it's always worth it but it is scary too okay yeah we'll learn mm-hmm. together Heather yes <laughs> I think of greens which I could be so off on this I just know that we should be eating way more than we actually do in our culture Um, I don't even have a salad a a day. So, um, this is getting that into your system and fiber KK. I bet you could say so much about why we should be drinking greens. If you can, you totally need to unmute (laughs) or grab Ryan and he could give us a lecture on the importance of greens. I'll tell you, I could tell you a little bit, (laughs) right? I just heard Ryan say, Nope, I'm out. Um, (laughs) next week, Ryan, next week. So what I really like about the Plexus Greens, we drink greens in our house every single day. When you have special needs, uh, it's really hard to get nutrients into your kids. <laughs> so my son drinks like a really dense green drink every day. Um, and so what's cool about the Plexus uh, Greens that isn't like anything else I've ever seen on the market is that the fruits and veggies are fermented. And that's actually really awesome because it's going to break down easier in the system. And I feel like the plexus greens is going to be really gentle on people's systems. Oftentimes when we take greens, um, it can cause bloating gas because we're not used to all of those nutrients being dumped in our system so quickly. Um, The oat fiber as well is an anti-inflammatory. So that's really awesome. Like Plexus knows their stuff. When they formulate their products um, to add an anti-inflammatory like oat fiber, the fermented greens, which means they're already broken down. And so they're going to process better in the body. Mm -hmm. And then that added kombucha is just natural probiotics. So they're already hitting gut health with the greens and the inflammation like they do so well in all of their products. So. There you go. There's a little spill. That's awesome. That's awesome. So good. Thank you for chiming in. We always know KK knows. So you just got to put it on the the spot. Oh my goodness. Christy, you have something for us like that you want to share unmuted? Is that what that says? Yeah. So, um, sorry, I have a, like a head cold, so I sound extra terrible oh. today. Um, know that I, my sister-in-law is a social media manager. Like literally that's what she does practically for a living. Like she has her own company. So she manages social media and does all this stuff. And um, she recently launched like some templates for social media that are super easy and they're super cheap. It's like, I think one is five and one is $6, like two different templates um, where it's like, you can do it for posts or for Instagram stories. And then one is like more of a boho neutral vibe. And then the other one is like pink, which is very plexus. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's good. Um, <laughs> so it's very plexus, very pink and bright. And literally all you have to do is have a Canva account, which is free. And then you have her templates and all you do is like change the wording, plug in some photos and you have clean, pretty um, mm. Instagram story and Instagram post templates. Um, that, you know, people can have access to instead of what we all do that we screenshot and then it gets Uh blurrier and blurrier and blurrier (laughs) as we screenshot it. Sometimes I'm like, I need to remake this. This is really blurry already. (laughs) So um, that's something that she had and she was, you know, she was just talking to me about it and she sent me her templates and I was like, I love these. She's like, well, 
you know, <clears throat> if you want to share them with like your team, just let me know. I can send you the link so that you can purchase again. It's like $5 and you get like, um, I want to say there's like between six to eight, maybe 10 different like templates. And then you can just plug in your info, like the information that you want in regards to whatever product or whatever you're sharing. Um, so I just wanted to share about that. And she is also in the works of developing like a subscription based um, social media template thing. Uh -huh. So like every month she'll pull out like Plexus related social media templates like on the first when all of our specials run or when we know what's going on for the whole month like you have all the templates like everything already made for you so that's not yeah. out yet the, the templates of for social media are the ones that are like five or six dollars the subscription isn't yet but I just wanted to share she's like if you want to share with your teams and tell you know them yeah. that you know that's something that they can you guys can do and yeah yeah just yeah. Do we need a link then? Or do you want to put it in? Some... Yeah. I mean, I can text her right now and ask her for like the link. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> so that um, I'll find it and I'll put it in the chat. Perfect. So, yeah, just to All right. I love love that. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Dr. Mama. KK, Dr. Mama. It's your new nickname. That's actually what my boys call me. It's really funny. Um, can I can I ask a question? I don't know. It's yes, like, I feel like there's like radio silence. So I'm just going to just throw this out there. <laughs> I hate talking on these things. Um, okay. So when you get new people, okay. So I have like a good group of new people. And I feel like I'm like at this crossroads where like, I need to introduce the business to all of these people who are really loving their products and they're having great success with them in like the two or three months they've been on them, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like here, like a deer in headlights. And I'm like, uh, great, you're doing great. Keep going. Oh, your products are working great. I'm so happy for you. And like, I feel like this urge to share the business, but I'm so stuck. Like, I don't know how to get out of this stuck. Like, how do I share without... I'm so afraid of being salesy. Like, how do I introduce the opportunity and be like, look what it can do for your life? But where do I start? Like, what do I, <laughs> what do I say to all these people? Yeah, that's real. First of all, she's added 13 new level ones this month. So y'all like give major claps. I just found out before I came here, she swept the contest for quarter three. I mean, just rocking it literally, but that's, uh, good question and a common question in this place that you're in you're like oh my goodness I got all these people now what do I do <laughs> the thing that came to mind too is we'll both take turns answering this I would love for everyone on this call to put in the chat why did you make your first post what compelled you to share was it something you saw on the team page was it a personal message was it just from yourself the Lord prompting your heart I think that'd be beneficial for all of us to see the unique storylines that are right here on this Zoom tonight. The fact that you're afraid of sounding salesy will keep you from being salesy. So I'll say that too. Your heart will come through in your messages. And I'd love to hear what Morgan's going to say too, but I know you and I have dialogued on this. There's going to be things you'll do for your team page that we've talked through, but, um, and I can, t I can speak to that on the Zoom too, but so often it will be in the personal conversation is someone gives you an update that they are I was gonna say pooping consistently <laughs> first thing that came to mind <laughs> share on social media uh, <laughs> but they say they have better energy it's a great moment to say like you just never know who you know in your sphere is struggling with that too I so encourage you to put that out there so it might be an organic conversation like that of just encouraging them like hey let people into this you never know if there's someone that follows you on Instagram who's praying for that same thing. So that really attracts a yellow personality, right? Um, there are times that I will just, with a new person, throw the graphic of what they can make when they add three and just say, hey, like, I don't even know if this is on your radar as an opportunity, either as a hobby 
property or a secondary income, but I would be doing you a disservice to not at least show you what is possible for helping three. In fact, tonight I did that with somebody and she was like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. If I help three, I make $400. Like she just could not even grasp that. She's like, I'm, I'm doing it. I don't know if I'm supposed to do it as a business, but I'm adding three. So you just never know who just seeing that graphic or hearing like it, you literally can make money. Some people don't realize you really actually do make money doing this. So just giving them a taste of it is going to attract certain people. But I think when you share your heart with that graphic of, hey, like I don't, this is this may not be for you, right? But I want to make sure at least you do know there is an opportunity at hand. And so if this would be a blessing to your family, let me know how I can, or let me know and I'll help you every step of the way, you know, just dripping it in conversation. How about you? How would you bring up that conversation? Well, I do very similar things because <laughs> I learned from her, <laughs> but, um, the only thing I would add to that is one time I heard Emily Gibson training and she basically walks someone through going silver. And mm. once they do that, usually it like clicks more. So for example, as you're having conversations with some when you're hearing them say, my mom struggles with migraines, so-and-so does this. And so you're kind of doing the work for that person behind the scenes. And you're like, oh, you know, that stinks that your mom has migraines. Did you know that this can help with this? Did you know you had a referral link? I'd love to help. Like, let's set up a three-way and I'll talk to your mom about how these supplements could help mm. her too, since they're helping you so much. Mm. So you're connecting them with people they love that they're talking about that also need help supplement wise. And then most of the time when people are loving the products, they want to get them paid for at least. Mm -hmm. So it starts there and then you build from that. But many network marketing companies talk about making money or getting their products paid for. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they've already been burned by a past company. So sometimes I'm like digging, like, no, you really don't have monthly minimums. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, you real, there is no catch. Like you mm -hmm. can sell nothing this month or as much as you want this month and helping them understand how easy it is. And once they invite one person to join them, they might add another person right. and they might add another, but taking baby steps like one at a time. And when they see that we hold their hand, they're like, Oh, okay. This is easier than I thought. Mm -hmm. I'll try to go a little bit farther. Mm -hmm. Does that stir up more questions in you, KK? <laughs> it's another question do i know you well okay <laughs> well what comes to your mind as you hear that um i mean i hear like i've heard you guys say this sort of stuff over and over and for some reason my brain is just like okay but what do i say like what do i actually say like i'm the type of person like I've looked at people's scripts, I guess you call them, and I'll like take it and tweak it and make it my own. But like, just to see what someone actually says, like I, I'm not like, I'm a five, right? I'm not a nine. So I'm not like all feely and like, oh, let's have this lovely conversation. And I like, I'm going to like drip. I'm like, get to the facts and here's your information. And it comes across as like a little harsh sometimes. And so I'm a little concerned that I'm going to be like, look, you can make money. Like you should do this. Yeah. And I just, like, so I don't say anything because <laughs> I want to be like, I want to be a nine, but I'm not a nine. I'm a five. And I like, I want all the information and I want to know exactly how I'm supposed to help them and see it in front of me and just like, okay, I can say this and tweak it to make mm -hmm. it my own. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, which we can probably find you some templates, mm -hmm. but I think a lot of it is just laying down your fear of the disappointment or somebody not doing it, or maybe I'm going to do it wrong, or people are going to judge my heart wrong. And I think that once you start doing the thing, you're going to mm -hmm. see hmm, it's working sometimes. Oh, okay. I can do this again. Mm -hmm. Just do the thing scared, right? And it's going to go forward. And there. what's the worst thing they're going to say back? probably thank you. <laughs> like the, if they're not interested, they'll be like, okay, thanks. Mm -hmm. like, so it really ends up not being that scary after all. And you're going to attract like-minded people who get you. The Lord already knows the people he's bringing into your path. He'll give you the words to say every single time he has brought you this far and he's not going to leave you hanging now. And so he will just be so faithful to guide you. And the beauty of times that you're in momentum like this is the cream of the crop. It like rises, you know, um, your runners will make themselves known. Um, but even, you know, I'd love for you just to share what made you 
make your first post and what made you want to go silver? I like, I have thought about this a ton and I'm like, do I even remember? I don't, I was in such a bad place, like mentally and, and physically. And I remember for four months, like telling Krista, like, I don't want a wholesale account. I don't want anything to do with an MLM. I don't want, like, I just want the dang product. Give me the product. <laughs> <laughs> and she was so, you were like so kind and you're just like, okay, well, it is the best price, but you know, whenever you're ready. So then like, I was like, fine, I'll do a wholesale account. Cheaper. Fine. Like, <laughs> like, fine, you talked me into it. Um, <laughs> and then I kept telling you, like, I'm not doing this business. And then I was like, dang it, it's working. So, um, I remember like seeing that first, like $18 paycheck and I was like oh I made $18 like doing nothing this is fun um and so then I just was like okay um what do I like what what do I do with this business and you said just share something on social media but like I came to you and asked you like what do I do mm -hmm. but you also dripped as you say like you dripped those little things those thoughts in my head like you could have a wholesale account you could share with other people like I don't know <laughs> yeah if I remember correctly a healthish water bottle was involved that month too and people were earning I like to stuff. win stuff yeah I, yeah I really yeah. like to win I stuff. caught on quick I was like oh she likes prizes <laughs> yeah I'm like so yeah, and I don't I even like the prizes you know yeah. I don't like the prizes I like the competition achievement. yeah like the achievement of it yeah yeah <laughs> yeah I love it well I'm also reminded of like you know, she said, you'll, your runners will make themselves known. And I saw something where somebody said, people ghost me, even after I talk to them, know that if you're planting seeds, when it's the right time, mm -hmm. it will happen. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to be the dead horse. So you can't go after, you know, KK added 13 people, all 13 of those people aren't going to be runners. And you could sit there and for lack of a better way of saying it <laughs> waste your time trying to get people <laughs> to do something because you know the opportunity is amazing and you see the potential in them but if they don't see that in themselves yet or they don't want it enough for themselves yet leave that be mm -hmm. and so you have to run yourself invite them along and wait for them to do it themselves so I think sometimes we can want it more for somebody else than they want it for themselves mm -hmm. and that brings discouragement to ourselves, we feel defeated and that's not from the Lord at all. So you have to just leave it in his hands and continue to plant the right seeds. Like Krista drips the little things. And then when it was your time, you were ready. And so I would encourage everybody that whether it's ordering, whether it's them joining you in the business, that's an important thing to hold on to. Cause I have people, Morgan Wild she was one of my first prospects and hmm. she probably said no or ghosted me for four years, mm -hmm. but now she's loving the products and now she wants to do the business, but her time wasn't right four years ago. Right. And so you have to allow people to come in. And if I wasn't consistent and I wasn't here four years later, I would have missed that opportunity to help her and run alongside mm -hmm. her now. So it's yeah. kind of cool how it comes full circle. People come and go, you have to let everybody's life is different. Everybody has their own grace for what they have to do. Yeah. And just be faithful to what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Probably several of us weren't super interested right off the gate, right? I still remember Heather adding me to a team page and thinking, <laughs> what is she doing? <laughs> and then she encouraged me to join this like accountability group, a message thread where we were going to post three times a week about Plexus because I had made one post that I thought would be my only post. And I still remember where I was in our home, looking at her message, putting the phone down and telling Chad, like, can you believe that she would want me to be on a chat? Like, as if I'm going to really <laughs> post three times a week, like I just thought like, how rude that was not very nice of her to do that. And it was within days that I was going nuts posting three times a day. So, uh, but she handled me with such grace through the seasons that I was saying no, through the two and a half years that I unfollowed her through all of it. She had so much grace. And I really believe that is much of what birthed the culture that our team has of valuing, loving people well, regardless of whether they do what we want them to do. Right. And you do it perfectly. KK, you truly do. Uh, your runners are going to make themselves known. Just like mm -hmm. we've both said, they really, they really are. Just don't let fear hold you back. Fear is never from the Lord. Um, 
follow those promptings that you get in your heart. And he might even bring people to mind. Uh, and as he does that, he'll also be faithful to bring the words to mind to say to them in due season. Krista, I helped Tracy do her sip and see last night for the first time. It was so exciting. We had four people there, but I got to tell you, I was scared. Okay. I was scared. (laughs) Yes. Don and I then was scared. All right. (laughs) And I got to tell you, I was like, I don't have to know everything. I really don't. You know what I mean? But, um, I got to tell you, how often would you say to do them? Like I was shaking. Yes. You guys think I'm all outgoing. I was shaking in my shoes. Okay. Trying to be the best leader I could to be in front of all these people and then do a live and then help to, you know what I mean? Or whatever. But, um, if you had to say something to me to help Tracy be successful would you say like to have like maybe a seasonal sip and sees like when the holidays come around or do you think that's too much I think as often I'm just as asking. Can, okay yeah, as often as possible <laughs> do in-person events online events as long as you keep your marriage healthy family healthy book them <laughs> you know like Okay. Do them as often as you can. And, um, I know one thing Chad and I were taught back in the day was always book a meeting from a meeting. And so when you're doing a sip and see, you're looking at those who may have interests that are in the room and who are ready to start their business. And you see, can you do a sip and see in their house then, or an online event? You know, I know so much of our world's turning more virtual, but the more you can do those in-person meetings, the better it was a key to momentum for me. It was the tip Jennifer Leaf gave me at Leaders Retreat. And it did launch the momentum that ultimately took us to Emerald. So I, I think they're valuable, whether it's one person that shows up, nobody shows up, you get personal time with your ambassador, or it could be 20. You never know. They're all unique, but they're worth having. But I got to tell you, I didn't, I didn't afraid. Mm -hmm. I I didn't know what I was doing. I just said, Tracy, I'm here with you. We're going to do this together. And she had four people show up. She had two people sign up before the sip and see, and she still didn't cancel it. And I was so proud of her, but I got to tell you, I was nervous. Yeah, that's real. I still get nervous and every zoom. So I don't know if it goes away for some of us, but, um, but it's worth it. And the sooner that she's able to do her own, that frees you up to continue working with other legs. So you, you do one with somebody which trains them how to do it and you continue duplicating that. So way to go for you and Tracy. That's a big deal. Mm-hmm. Did you miss any here? And just so you know, I didn't want to share the business when I first started Plaxis either. Just so you know. Yeah, yeah, yes. for real. Um, Heidi, you asked what graphic. So the oh, yeah. graphic that we're talking about, I'll post in the team thread, but we've posted it a couple of different times and it changes every month. Mm-hmm. And it just says like, if you're brand new to Plexus, this is how much you can earn. If you add three and go silver for the first mm-hmm. time, this is what you can earn. And if you add three and you've already gone silver, this is what you can earn. Yep. So we can pop that in the thread for you. So yeah. You and I'll even that. show you the one I did tonight. I was in such a flurry. It was like my first like true power hour tonight um, since we've been traveling. And so I was just going as fast as I could. So I couldn't even find this month. I shared with her August <laughs> and I said, this says August, ignore that it says August. It applies for today. You know, no one expects perfect from us. Well, if they do, they're just not going to get it from me, but I just threw up what I could find really quick and kept it back to conversational. But I want her to see visually like, whoa, because for me, that was a big deal. I remember hearing of a lady who made $400 a month in essential oils and thinking like, that's amazing. We, we, we could have really used 400 a month at that time. But I also knew that she ran all around town and she had a lot of inventory and I, we could not have afforded to have that kind of inventory, nor could I have afforded to leave my home as much as she did. And so it kept me from joining, but it did plant a seed that, okay, you can make money, you know, doing this. And so when people see that it can be that simple of helping three friends, I have found usually the response is, um, really that that's remarkable, or if they're not interested, it's just a simple thank you. So Mm -hmm. that helps with the fear of um, dripping the opportunity on people. I think everything else was testimony. I love it. I was not interested at all. (laughs) Christy was so not interested. Jenna put Christy under her husband. And when Christy added like 10 people, she was like, she told me she wasn't interested. I don't know what happened to her. (laughs) 
And now look at Christy. Killing it. it. Killing it. I love it. And Melissa, you guys are doing a vendor fair. That is amazing. Awesome. Awesome. I, Teresa and I did one one time Mm -hmm. and she massaged people's hands with the ease cream. And so they would have stood there for like ever listening to us talk about whatever we wanted, (laughs) but you know what everybody wanted when we left the ease. cream. (laughs) It was fun though. It's a lot of fun. People just want to taste the stuff and know that it's not gross. Right. They could do it every day. Mm -hmm. I have a question. question. Yeah. Um, Okay. (laughs) Yeah. Hi. <laughs> um, so I'm curious that when you, I know you guys are moms and you probably don't have a lot of time to spend on this business, but say you had a lot more extra free time and you don't know how to structure your time at all. <laughs> how would you structure your time in a way that's productive? <laughs> more good reasons. <laughs> trying to imagine myself having extra time actually I was like this is a great question <laughs> because I, I don't live the mom life yeah, yeah, I yeah, have yeah. a lot of extra time on my hands right now <laughs> I'm like I don't know what to do with all this time but I want to be productive with it for my future when I'm not free yeah yeah I, I don't know what to do I have Christina Williams in my head mm-hmm. time blocking is like huge and go in with the task list so mm-hmm. You don't get distracted or swept into all the other things that are in mm-hmm. Facebook world and Instagram. Make sure when you're time blocking and you're sitting down to do plexus things that you're doing plexus things that are income producing activities. And so I love those charts to have and um, watching trainings, but like being able to actually sit down and watch a training and take notes is like dreamy to me. Most of the time I'm multitasking that, but you're going to get a whole lot more if you're investing in that and taking notes. And then as soon as you watch that training, apply it. Right. Like instead of just listening to it and be like, Oh, that sounds great. I'm going to apply that to my business sometime doing it right. Then make sure that it will stick. And Mm -hmm. then you'll continue to do those things. So Mm -hmm. I would encourage you with those two things for sure. And you are very outgoing. So I would go out and meet people and connect with people face to face, Mm -hmm. because that's just (laughs) so much more productive, (laughs) honestly. Don't make me do it. Yeah. Those are the first things that come to me. Yeah. I think that's good. And even just glancing, if you type in like IPA charts, um, DMO is it going to be another keyword DM or key letters to put in the search on the momentum makers or team revive. You'll see some examples there. I can send them to you as well. And taking those and getting a feel of, okay, what is my DMO? Mm-hmm. What's my, you know, we did a zoom recently of my whiteboard on the road to Ruby and senior Ruby, and it was more of a wheel. And so when I had my designated time, that's what I did. And then in my multitasking time, I was listening to one training a day and then in the evening or whenever trying to read or doing audiobooks, and did not miss a day, especially with trainings. I did not miss a day. So then looking at the DMO, looking at the IPAs and deciding, okay, what are yours going to be? Maybe it's utilizing a new Instagram daily, Bob, of doing a reel a day. Um, increasing your hashtag type deal, taking one of your hashtags and searching it and beginning to interact there. It's growing your 100 list by five people every day, um, doing the Bryce Johnson training for Instagram and then going and applying that. So maybe it's she means Brock, Brock Johnson. <laughs> yep. That's who I actually meant. <laughs> Glad you're here because I don't even know what I said. Bryce, it's Did okay. I really? Yeah. Shoot. I know a Bryce Johnson from college. I figured because that's so not weird. a common name. <laughs> so weird. Okay. Brock Johnson. Brock training. Johnson has great Instagram training, um, especially with hashtags and all that. But even just following him on Instagram, you're going to get great tips oh, yeah. that you can utilize every single day and grow that audience. Um, so that you're constantly adding to your list of a hundred, um, on Facebook, I think it's easy just to do a letter a day every single month or 10 names a day or something and work through that friends list of intentional interaction on Facebook, uh, with the people there, uh, whether it's via message or an intentional comment on their post, you know, so there's certain activities like that, that because you have extra time, you can increase 
you know, you can do instead of 10 names, do 20 names, mm-hmm. um, intentionally interacting, building relationship with people, reels, you know, all these things. So kind of writing down for you, what are the things that you can do? They're going to move the needle in your audience and growing impact and reach, but a book, a, a book a month and a training a day is going to take you far. You're going to feel like you're not getting anything accomplished maybe, but I truly think it's a key because you're going to just learn so much that you can apply each day. Sweet. So Love you. Rebecca, for the vendor events. Um, so I think it's super beneficial. The two things that come to mind, put out whatever products you have, but don't feel like you have to have everything catalogs, that type of thing would be helpful. So they can see what Plexus has, but let them try the drinks. So it doesn't mean you have to have 30 pink drinks in your handing out six, cause that would be more expensive. Mix it all up in a water bottle, pour it into little tiny shot glasses you can get from Target, Party City, or whatever. Give them a little taste of the active, the pink drink, letting them try the drinks and see what they love. And then I would have a giveaway. And the giveaway could be a $25 Amazon gift card or whatever. And to get entered into the giveaway, they have to give their name and their email or their name and their phone number, however you want to contact them in the future so then you're getting a list of potentials from that vendor event so you don't leave with them getting all of your website but nobody knows you don't know who those people are so you're Mm -hmm. having a point of contact there too asking them their health goals you know we had um little papers that said what's your name your email and what's your health goal Mm -hmm. so then you know what you're following up with already and you're already like oh they want slim active ease because they want to target inflammation or this person is working on gut health this one wants weight loss you know which Mm -hmm. combo to already introduce them to Mm -hmm. and what aspect of plexus that they'd be interested in yeah that's a huge key and for your giveaway you can have the plexus products in your giveaway or even just a sample bag one of mine was just a sample bag of products, but then it had a Starbucks mug and a Starbucks gift Mm. card and like a cute little decor tin. And so people may not even have had much interest in Plexus, but they for sure wanted the $20 Starbucks gift card and Mm -hmm. the cute mug. Um, So that was helpful. And it just increased how many numbers and contacts I got. Another one was at a women's conference thing. Um, And so I had like a couple of faith-based books. Am I making sense? Um, so I had a giveaway geared more for that that included the Plexus samples. So I think including something in your prize that they're entering for that is non-Plexus can be intriguing, but mm-hmm. that's super helpful to get their information. Rita, I saw your hand raised. Did I see your hand raised? Rita. You're muted though, I think. Here we go. Um, I'm walking through a tough season right now with... Um, the hurricane damage in our area, most of my ambassadors are local to me. Um, And so many have had to push their subscriptions back. Uh, It's really hard to encourage people to buy products when um, there's just so much uh, devastation around. And this past weekend, Sunday, Sunny and I went and helped a cousin clean up muck and gunk, but I brought, my products with me and shook up some slim and some active and shared. And um, those type of things have been the best for me, but I just, I in, I'm trying to invest in myself right now because, and in my team, but I understand that we're just walking through a tough season right. um, because of situations. Mm-hmm. So um, with what KK had said about what to do next, how to guide people next. Most of my people have lost people under them. Um, and so uh, we're, I, I'm plugging into a, a posting challenge and I'm working on me on my personal development to be a stronger leader because um, we're coming up against some, some tough odds. So prayers are appreciated um, for our area. I've been doing a lot with my own ambassadors of finding out what it is they really need. And they win an incentive prize and I plug in, you know, I do a drawing every month. I do, a, I do drawings for participation and on our little Facebook messenger group. And so I will plug them into what it is I know they need as mm-hmm. their incentive prize. So I choose them as a winner you know, through a drawing, but then I've written down what it, what product it is that they're out of that they just can't afford right now. Wow. 
and they can't, they don't have a big enough pool to pull people in um, who are in a different boat right now so you know uh it's a challenge it's and it's a very different challenge um yeah. to me so prayers are appreciated and i'm not stopping i i believe god is guiding us through this um because he's got this and so you know i'm praying for for all um but plugging people into challenges michelle green does a two-week posting challenge that's really cool so your new people that you're trying to encourage, you know, I started sharing on social media because of one of Heather's, your uh, Heather Russ um, Grenier's uh, post and challenge when Active came out. She had this post and challenge and I was started posting because she said to and tagging her in it and I won prizes from her. And I was like, well, this is fun, you know, and then <laughs> the seeds that I planted then like exploded a month or two later is when I went gold. Yeah. And I told her, I said, it was because you told me to post about acting. She just challenged me to post what I was doing because I was drinking the active. So I'd take a picture by the pool with my active and I'd take a picture cutting the grass with my active and, you know, and it just took off. Um, so I, I need a fire like that again. And I'm excited about greens. And um, the piece today on Jennifer Lee's post was, they suggested the 75 hard, which is a mental toughness program. And in it for 75 days, you commit to reading 10 pages a day, to doing a training, to doing personal development that'll make you stronger. So um, Annie, when you said you have a lot of time to do that, you know, I'm retired um, and I watch my grandbabies. So when they're napping, I'm like, you know, uh, doing things, but um, so that's just some pieces that uh, the piece I took today was don't hold back, work on yourself, invest in you, and um, don't just go through the motions, improve 1%, mm -hmm. take baby steps, and that's what I'm going to work on right now, so um, prayers appreciated, and, and uh, you know, we, we are resilient people, yes. and, um, and we will rise, yeah. uh, but it's it just... A tougher time for us right now. So, yeah, we'll definitely be praying for you, Rita, and your team as a whole. I thought of you as that hurricane was going through a lot and prayed for you guys. So, we'll continue to do that. One huge thing that I heard when Rita was talking is that she heard about Heather's um, posting challenge and she started to post, and then eventually the ripple effect got her to gold. Yeah. And so I think even when we were talking with KK, the key for my journey all the way to Sapphire for, you know, five years is mm -hmm. I've been more surprised in a good way than in a bad way. Mm -hmm. When I just do the things, it's like, oh, people actually do <laughs> want this stuff. Oh, people actually do feel better. <laughs> I am making money. Now I'm winning things. <laughs> so if you start doing the things. The nice surprises along the way are pretty awesome. So. Yeah. And remembering, you know, just like Rita pointed out that sometimes you don't see the harvest the day that you plant right the away, seed, right? right? Um, it'd be silly if a farmer did that. And it's silly for us as well to judge the results the first time we share something with somebody. Rita, you're such, such a rock. And I really believe y'all are going to rise stronger than before, but you're mm -hmm. so valuable to this team. I and, love your heart. And we... We personally did extremely well. I mean, our fence did the wave and, you know, big deal. Um, but we've been helping people. We, mm -hmm. we took a ride through a real devastated area yesterday and helped one of his cousins. And we were washing gunk off of tools and stuff that was downstairs that had had gunk and water up like shoulder high. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, and this is three weeks in, they've been working and, um, so seeing people's lives out on the side of the road and, you know, and I'm like, here, try a vitamin. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> I get it that your couch is out by the dump, but don't you think active will help you? Um, but it's, it's, it's just ironic. I, I know I'm making light, but it's that, it's the irony um, yeah. of it all. And so, you know, I'm, I trust God and his timing and I will continue to and um everybody in each part of the country has their own challenges um but you take away pe 
people in the, in Louisiana's ability to cook. <laughs> like these people don't have gas right now. So they're finding all kind of other ways to, to do what they need to do. But, mm. you know. I do think though, business opportunity, if they join for a dollar, if they know yes. people in other areas, maybe yes. straight away from them personally ordering, but yes. make income would be a good thing to focus on mm -hmm. there. You know, they could join for a dollar and start promoting it to people. Yes. Mm. So good. Well, we're hitting our time. Yeah. What in the world? Did you guys enjoy this though? Is this something you yes. enjoy doing again? Just opening the floor up and just sit and chat through things and learn from another. I loved it. It wasn't as scary as we got going. You guys are it was nice good. To us. Yeah. <laughs> it was so enjoyable. <laughs> and I like that you guys have your videos on yes. for the most part. It makes me feel better when I can see your smiling, nodding faces. I'm like, mm. I'm not talking to squares that hate me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, okay <laughs> somebody asked where the special needs is going to be the thursday will be it's on thursday and you'll post it on yeah. team revive the yeah once i have the graphic i think it's still being made and once i have but it'll be on thursday is all i know so far yes well we'll post the replay mm -hmm. for sure well we have chatty daddy tuning in from our hotel down the road to close us out in prayer. If you have specific prayer requests, you want to even throw them in the chat. Sometimes we're able to do all of them. Sometimes it's something we can pray over later, but hey, babe. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? Good. So fun to see you guys together over there in Kannapolis. <laughs> it's fun being together. You missed a fun time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I was I was having fun too, Put putting down sailor and changing diapers. So, you know. Great. Different, different type of fun. Yeah. Hey, um, I was I was just praying as you guys were um, meeting, and something came up to me, so I was just going to share it with you guys. And so so fun to be on here, and such great questions. Such Rita, I, I just love you. You're such a sweet lady, and you add so much value to the team. And can't wait to beat you in pool again soon. Again, yes, that implies you beat me the first time, dude. Sorry. I was waiting for that. It's not many people that would jab me back like that so quickly, but I was waiting for you to jab me back. So much appreciated. So uh, first Kings 17. Um, now Elijah, the Tishbite of Tish, Tishbe in the, in the Gilead said to Ahab, as the Lord, the God of Israel lives, before whom I stand, there shall be neither dew nor rain these years, except by my word. And the word of the Lord came to him and, depart, and said, Depart from here and turn eastward and hide yourself by the brook Cherith, with it, which is east of Jordan. You shall drink from the brook, and I have commanded the ravens to feed you there. So he went and did according to the word of God, and he went and lived by the brook that is east of the Jordan. And the ravens brought him bread and meat in the morning and bread and meat in the evening. And he drank from the brook. And after a while, the brook dried up because there was no rain in the land. And I was just thinking about this business. And I was thinking about how the Lord really has directed our steps as business owners into this business. And some, a lot of us, it came to us by accident, you know, where it was, it was just first a product that kind of helped change our life physically but then all of a sudden, uh, we all recognize, hey, wow, this is amazing. And, and the, there's so many more people that need this. And I just need to open my mouth like some of you ladies talked about or do the posting challenge or whatever it was. Um, but I really believe right now we're in, we're in such a crucial hour, especially in our country. And I, I, I just, you know, there's been a lot of um, words spoken, prophetic words spoken that that there is going to be a shift in our economy. And I, I just really believe that there is some warning signs ahead of us that, hey, uh, prepare your household, prepare your finances, prepare where you're receiving your 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 manna from. And I, I really believe that this can be a word of the Lord for all of us is that, man, we have something great in our hands. But uh, if, if the Lord, you know, like Lord's pointing us eastward <laughs> physically, mm -hmm. but if he's pointing you into a different direction, perhaps, um, you know, in terms of how to how to build this business, the urgency of how to build this business, the timetable of what is happening in our economy, 
I just encourage you, don't be lackadaisical about it. It's kind of a, just a, a strong um, encouragement that we just don't know, you know, who's going to lose their job, whose husband's going to lose your job. We don't know like what happened down in Louisiana or what, what could happen. And next day, all of a sudden you're living out of a box. And so, but I do believe, you know, I, I just remember for Chris and I, we went from, you know, being living in a, a million dollar farm one day to literally having a police officer come to our door, knock on the door, kicking us out of the house and us having uh, no house at all and being homeless uh, within really 24 hours. And so it can happen to anyone, uh, but I, I really believe that the Lord will sustain you. And, and this is this is kind of like one of those supernatural um, income producers that that the Lord is bringing, you know, from, from just the wild sources like the Raven. So anyways, I'm just going to pray over that for you and, 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 and for us as a team and believing that, you know, it's um, not so much about what is said, but it's the heart of how it's said. So thank you, Father God, that you are putting the right words in our mouths at the right time with the right people. And we just declare, Father God, that you'll give us listening ears to go where you call us to go to reach out to the people that you call us to reach out to, that we would have a sense of urgency in our hearts to quit playing with something that is as powerful as, as this. And um, I just declared, Stephen over the team revive, that there would be a sense of urgency, that there would be a just a kind of a turning of the page saying, wow, I have my hands over something in something that is amazing but I don't want to waste it. And I don't want to, uh, I want to give my all. I want to give my best. And so right now we just declare, Lord, just prepare us in our hearts. Um, Holy Spirit, we just ask that you come quickly and, and uh, just direct our steps. If there's someone that is, uh, that you have specific to use the products or to be in business with us, that you would just continue to bring those to our mind and memory. And we just declare, Father God, that you are have, have and you continue to bring the manna from just the most obscure and wild places. And I just think back at uh, our relationship with so many people on this team and how, how wild it was, how the Lord orchestrated the steps, how you did that, God, from just uh, even some of the faces here tonight just brings me so much almost comical joy to, to to remember how some of these people came on board the team. And I just declare that that, that same, the same wild circumstances will happen for the rest of our team. And so we thank you, Father, for directing our paths. Thank you, Holy Spirit, that you are really the, the guide and, and uh, the light on our team, that we, that's what we want to be known for, that we are led by you, that we listen to you, that we're honed into you, we might not be the, the biggest team on IPA challenges or whatever, but we're one team that is always just tuned into your word, tuned into your, to your ear, and we're following your footsteps. We just thank you, Father God, for, for healing. I just declare even right now, um, in this sense, maybe someone may have some back pain, some upper right back pain. So if you have that, just in the name of Jesus, I just declare healing over that back pain right now. I just thank you, Father God. Even as I'm praying, I just feel his presence over you and your back, whether you're in person or watching this online as a replay. We just call forth that pain to be removed, that tightening to be unknotted, the twisting of those muscles to be released. Pray for headaches right now. Any, any of you that have been experiencing migraines on a just a kind of at an alarming rate maybe that they picked up as of recently we just command those uh, headaches and migraines to shrivel and die right now in the name of jesus i know some of you have been taking the products faithfully and you're waiting for the products to balance you out but some of you just need a miracle right now and uh just we declare that you won't have to go another bed uh, with restless sleep or anxiety. And we just speak to your mind right now that there'd be a calming over your mind and a peace in your heart and everything that the enemy has tried to steal in you 
And those midnight hours will be replaced with peace and joy, and even supernatural dreams. We love you, Lord. We love that we have a place to build community, to encourage one another, to pray, to create substantial financial incomes for our families, and, and uh, to be a testimony and witness of good health to so many people. Thank you, Lord, for this business and this, these products. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Thanks, babe. You're a gift to this team. See you soon. <laughs> all right, team. We love you. It was so good hanging out with y'all. And we will talk to y'all very soon. Good night.